Hi guys, in today's reading we're going to take a look and see what messages are coming up for you at this particular point in time. It is going to be a general reading, so please just keep mindful of that. If you're interested as a personal reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed just below the video. To the person that I'm connecting to, you may have this energy where you feel a little stuck in your life. You feel like you've arrived at a stagnancy. Um, maybe you feel like you're quite complacent where you are. Even though you feel like where you are, you're not necessarily reaching your full potential. There is something here that I feel like is... Uh, keeping you stuck or is keeping you in this energy where you're afraid to make big moves you're afraid to push outside of your comfort zone um, you're afraid to take action the eight of cups is your sign to walk away from anything or anyone that does not fulfill you that does not serve you positively so any relationships any friendships anything that is a little outdated anything that has flatlined for you you know it's run its course it just no longer serves you it's best that you walk away from from this from whatever this may be the cards are certainly indicating that there is something here that you're giving your energy to and it might also be this very thing that's keeping you stuck it could be a friendship it could be a romantic energy it could be a family member it could be a job or a career path there's something that you're giving so much of your time and your energy, like a physical energy, your emotional and your mental energy, but it's depleting you. Okay, it is it is not contributing to your happiness, it is rather taken away from it. It is something that doesn't leave you fulfilled, it doesn't leave you feeling satiated, it's something that it's something that I feel like you know has run its course, something that no longer serves you. Maybe once upon a time, you know, it did its thing. It was rewarding, it was fulfilling, it was, you know, a great relationship or it was a great friendship or, you know, things, it was a great job. It worked then. But what I'm trying to say is there's something here that you keep holding on to that no longer works. The cards are indicating that you do have the strength to walk away or you do have the strength to remove yourself from this situation from this equation from you know you, you can uproot yourself from out of this relationship or this friendship so anything that threatens your peace of mind anything that doesn't align with you okay sometimes you might connect with people but their paths aren't necessarily aligned with yours so i feel like yeah, now in particular might be a good time for you to really consider because I feel like the full moon here is really illuminating certain areas in your life that have this quality of darkness to them. And I think these areas are, they could be areas of relationships, friendships, um, just personal accomplishments or fulfill, fulfillments. 
I feel like the cards are asking you to really take a closer look and see what are the areas of your life that aren't serve you, serving you positively. Um, where can you where can you pull away your energy? Walking away from something is going to show strength, not weakness, okay? And that's what I feel like the cards um, are trying to tell you. I think that to the person that I'm connecting to, you're realizing your worth. You are realizing that you're not going to chase, after, you're no longer going to chase after people, you're you're certainly going to like affirm and strengthen your boundaries with certain people um you're certainly going to walk away from anything or anyone that you know the that is toxic or that is draining this act of walking away which i feel like some of you are doing or some of you are you're wanting to do and you might think that you don't have the strength but this act of walking away is going to empower you is going to strengthen you and it's going to allow you to focus on your own need and on your own energy it's going to bring you a sense of joy and a sense of fulfillment um, walking away from whatever this is and I think you know what it is that you need to walk away in your life because it's keeping you stuck it's keeping you chained in your own prison of um, of swords. It's definitely threatening your peace of mind. It's definitely, you know, causing you um, a lot of anxiety. But walking away, choosing to walk away from whatever this might be, is enabling you to make a choice that aligns with who you are and what you deserve. Ultimately, staying in a situation that is toxic and that is draining is only reaffirming to you that that's what you deserve. But walking away from it is, is going to affirm to you your worth and is going to strengthen your boundaries. Um, some of you, you're walking away from a loved one, okay? It could be a family member. It could be a romantic energy. Your paths have diverged, your paths have separated. You're no longer on the same path, you're no longer on the same journey. I feel like to the person that I'm connecting to, you've resisted or you are resisting moving forward. You want to stay in the same place. Now, why would you want to do that? Because it's comfortable, because it's familiar, because it's predictable, because it feels safe, right? Um, but what's happening here is you're shrinking yourself to fit in what you've now outgrown. So if it's a relationship or if it's a job, you're just shrinking yourself to stay small so you can fit into whatever this is. Um, embrace the person that you are meant to be. Part of embracing the person that you're meant to be means that you have to spend a little time in solitude. It means that you have to move remove yourself from certain people in certain situations this signifies your commitment to yourself to nurturing your needs stop choosing people who don't choose you okay opt instead to choose yourself by walking away from things that you know don't align with you what you're really saying is that you choose yourself you're going through a period of uh change and growth and i feel like in order to facilitate this growth and this change you have to understand that what you're going through here is an instrumental part of your journey it involves facing the courage it involves leaning in on your strengths and you know it, it asks you to let go of past hurts and acknowledge all these uncomfortable and challenging emotions that come with change you are creating room for personal growth you are creating room for transformation and for a 
deeper sense of you and a deeper sense of self-awareness. Be gentle with yourself right now, especially with where you are at. Be gentle with yourself and allow, like healing is non-linear, okay? Some days you're going to feel like you're making progress in leaps and bounds and other days you're going to feel like you're walking backwards. Healing is non-linear and it's okay to take the time to heal at your own pace. Don't compare your journey to someone else's. Compare you to you. Um, Self-love and empowerment. This shift in energy is asking you to set up healthy boundaries. Um, there are people in your life who have benefited from you not having any boundaries. And now that you're setting up healthy and more firmer boundaries, it's going to cultivate positive relationships moving forward. But it's also going to watch how those who benefited from you from not having any boundaries, watch them run away. Um, watch them sort of fall away. The shift in perspective is allowing you to prioritize your own well-being and your own happiness you as you continue to walk away from negativity from toxic situations you're going to start embracing self-love more and more and you're going to start opening yourself up to a world of possibilities a world of possibilities and a world of opportunities um, know when to walk away from a relationship know when to walk away from something that is no longer right from you for you whether it's a friendship a relationship a job you know whatever this may be walking away well first ask yourself if this if if this can be repaired or if you can stay in it and change it but if you feel like walking away is the best thing for you to do this is a powerful act of self-love and self-respect by recognizing situations that you've outgrown and by recognizing toxic toxic dynamics um, you're setting boundaries and you're prioritizing yourself trust in your own instinct trust when to let go trust when to walk away okay much like the figure with the eight of swords in the picture if only she were to trust her own intuition, her own instinct, because the water that pools around her feet is symbolic of her intuition. Although she feels like she's trapped and she's like in this prison of sorts, it's all in her mind. Okay, the predicament can could be easily escaped if only she removed the blindfolds here. Um, the bindings to me don't even look like they're you know tightly wound around her either. So. She's choosing to stay where she is. She's choosing to remain in this place. Although it doesn't look all that desirable, it's comfortable for her on some level because it's predictable, because it's safe. So I feel like to the person that I'm speaking to, there's some resonance there. You're, you remain stuck or you remain in a place and you choose not to move on because it's all you've known. Even if it does have an element element of pain attached to it, maybe you've been in the situation for far too long and you grew so accustomed and so familiar with the pain that you think pain is a part is a part of this process that you feel like pain is a sense of normality, um, and that in itself is unhealthy thinking. So choosing to walk away means you choose you. It means you're choosing to prioritize self-love and your healing. You do have the strength. Some people feel like you're being a bit snobby because I feel like you're, you've removed yourself from certain people or certain situations or you're removing those people from your life. And some people feel like you're being really choosy, selective, or you're being very snobby, or they can sense that you're being, like you're different, like there's something up. They don't understand the journey that you're on. They, they don't get it. They're not bad people. They're just, they're not on the same journey. Therefore, they don't have the same things as you do going on. 
you have to focus on you don't get distracted by any outside noise by any anything anyone says or does the thing is people are always going to have opinions these days everyone's a critic right um so focus on you even if it feels like you're alienating or isolating yourself you need i can sense that you need this time you need this time to yourself because you need to recharge your batteries you need to spend some time alone or you feel like you need time away from certain people because they do threaten your peace of mind they do threaten your happiness and being around them just doesn't make you feel good and right now you're all about feeling good feeling you and some people feel like they want to dim your light they don't want you they don't want you to shine at your brightest because you outshine them and they don't like that see everybody wants to see you doing good but never better than them so don't don't allow for anyone like don't dim your light just so others could shine keep shining all right guys and these are your messages thank you for watching and listening please show your support to the channel by liking sharing and subscribing bye for now